Hello, dear folks. Welcome to the East West Show. Name is Jack Chow. With a lot, lots of pride, I'm hosting this show, and each time I learn a lot. Uh, today with me, my good friend Chris Nibby. He's a very good friend and long, long, long time friend. Not only he's a filmmaker, he's a researcher, he's an archive kind of man, going into libraries all the time, finding stuff out that surprises people. <laughs> so, Chris, welcome to the show. Ni hao, lao pon yo. Ni hao, ni hao. Thank you. Very good. Your Chinese is getting better. Ayamaya. <coughs> Ayamaya. <laughs> ah, good. All right. That, that's very beautiful. That's typical Chinese, right? As you may see from the title of the show today, we say China-U.S. friendship during war times. Right? Uh, we keep on saying these days China-U.S. being the biggest nations, especially since Trump took office, there is a controversy saying that China-U.S., the relationship in between could suffer sometime or to some extent. True or not, we do not know yet. But what we are sure about was that, that China and the US shared a wonderful friendship during war times when China was being invaded by the Japanese bloody invaders. So at the, as a witness, I'm not saying he witnessed with his own eye, I'm saying he witnessed with his own films. Uh, and I, well, I'm inviting my friend uh, Chris Nibby to he to come here to share with me, and I understand, sir, that you have eighteen series so far made in your mysterious China series. Yeah, we made eighteen films. Uh, most of them are promoting and celebrating the epic cultural heritage of China, and mm. and also promote tourism. But uh, five of them I produced my with my own money. Mm -hmm. And uh, I at, uh, was concentrating on controversial issues like Tibet the Truth, mm -hmm. Dayo Island the Truth, mm -hmm. Unit 731, War Crimes Under the Rising Sun, and Burma Road Flying Tigers. Mm -hmm. Burma Road Flying Tigers addresses the cooperation between mm -hmm. America and China before America entered the war entered World War II after having been attacked by mm -hmm. Japan. Uh, yes, 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 sir. I do precisely remember the number 18. Yes. And among the 18, there are five uh, war crimes under the rising sun. Yes. Uh, Dayo Island. Unit 377. 731. 731. Dayu Island, Dayu Island, the uh, truth. Tibet the truth, Tibet the truth, and Flying Tiger slash Burma Road. Right. Okay, very good. Those are the five that I want to discuss with you. Okay. That uh, all together, the five tells, in addition to war crimes, the Japanese invaders, the friendship between Chinese and Americans, and most of the time. Uh, take the Flying Tiger case that are American volunteers helping China, aiding them with the wars. So They were oh, actually mm -hmm. in the, f the word volunteers is very kind. Mm -hmm. Actually, they were very well paid uh, mercenaries. Uh -huh. And um, they were not, um, they were not uh, Air Force. Mm -hmm. They were former Air Force. They were retired, some of them, and they were actually mercenaries similar to what we know today, the Blackstone Company, mm -hmm. who had mercenaries in Iraq. So later on, they were integrated into the American Air Force. Mm. But in the beginning, it uh, was a total, uh, call it private undertaking, under mm -hmm. the leadership of a uh, colonel, um, mm -hmm. uh, Shinold, uh, uh, yes, Chenault. Yes, yeah, Chenault. Lee, mm -hmm. uh, Lee Chenault, who uh, had left the American Air Force mm -hmm. and was an advisor to mm -hmm. the Kuomintang, to Chiang Kai-shek's mm -hmm. uh, Chinese Air Force, and trained Chinese pilots. He was a very um, controversial gentleman mm -hmm. and uh, had a very close association with uh, Chiang Kai-shek. Mm -hmm. Uh, he married a Chinese woman. He was married to an American woman, 
and later on divorced her and married a the Chinese woman, woman yes. Anna mm. Chenault, uh -huh. and had two children with her. Uh -huh. And I know his uh, grand uh, nephew or grandson, something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's uh, active here in Los Angeles. I see. I see. Okay. And of course, each of the uh, film has its own theme, and each tells different stories. But uh, I want to exactly focus on two of the, uh, of the uh, films. One is the uh, Flying Tiger slash Burma Road. It's and the, the other, other way around, Burma Road, Flying Tigers. Oh, Burma Road, Flying mm -hmm. Tiger. And also, what is the, uh, the flea that, that, that bomb after bombing Tokyo landed on China land and the pilots of which are rescued um, yeah. by yeah. the uh, Chinese farmers? Uh, I have forgotten right now the name of the commanding general mm -hmm. but yes they uh, they when they landed there some of them crashed and also uh, f uh, <coughs> uh, uh, parachuted into china mm -hmm. after they ran out of fuel or were shot at and they were rescued by chinese farmers and hidden away from the japanese and survived mm -hmm. And the Japanese were so upset, they kind of uh, uh, swearingly want to do the revenge because they bombed Tokyo. Right. So they went door to door to get the American pilots, and the Chinese peasants even uh, shed their lives in it, protection of them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. They well, massacred There's a lot of farmers mm -hmm. who were hiding or accused of hiding foreign in that pilots, case, American yeah. pilots. Mm -hmm. uh, did you, did you, I mean, the five, any five of the episodes cover that part? No, no. I have not covered that mm -hmm. at all, but I'm aware of it. You will, right? Okay. Uh, no, That's because it's not enough. You know, mm -hmm. it's just a very small episode. It was a one-time event, mm -hmm. and there is a not much foot. There but, you can, but you can turn it into a fiction. Yeah, but into uh, a fiction. There are no, there is. Mm -hmm. uh, there, I think there is an attempt being made to turn it into a film, mm -hmm. but it's very difficult. And this type of film is really. I'm not interested in historical fiction. I'm uh, interested uh, uh, uh. in the real thing. Oh, I see. I and the real, the real thing is, as we know, bad enough. I forgot that you're an arch archive guy. <laughs> and not, not only that, but you see, we have to, uh, we, we have forgotten one thing, and the West has forgotten one thing. Mm -hmm. China, in its over 4,000 years of history, mm -hmm. uh, has never really attacked another country or has never made any land grab. Yeah, that's, that's true. And uh -huh. the, this is not the Chinese mentality. The Chinese mentality mm -hmm. is to create win-win situations in peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. The West has never really understood that. And today, China is being accused of possible war. Mm. China is being accused of, uh, in the South China Sea, preparing for military action. Yes, maybe for defense, because China mm. has been attacked mm. for centuries by U European imperial colonialism, mm -hmm. colonial powers, including America. Mm. And, and the Japanese in the 1900s. And of course, the Japanese are the worst of them. 19th century, I mean. In, yes. 19th and century and the 20th century. Right. Yeah. So um, it is uh, ludic uh, ludicrous to ad accuse China of any military okay. aggression. For Forget the uh, accusing part. Let's take a very short moment now. When we come back, shall we focus on the fact that I would like to once again dig from the background part of uh, that time, why did the United States help uh, to help China by sending the flying tigers? All right, how about that? So stay with us, my dear audience, and we'll be right back.
Hello, my dear folks. Welcome back to the East West Show. Name is Jack Chow, talking about wartime friendship between U.S. and China. It's a tradition there. It is an undeniable tradition because in history, something of that great episode happened, did happen, and is recorded on books, not only on books, but by this wonderful man, Mr. Chris Nibby, and director, producer, uh, filmmaker, screenwriter, everything about film. Everything about visual, right? So, his documentary has included 18 episodes, five of which are war-related. Okay, during the war-related, I would like to pick two. Uh, one is the Flying Tiger, Burma Road slash Flying Tiger, and the other one is the uh, Unit uh, Seven Thirty One. Unit Seven Thirty One that. Uh, tells the story about how Japanese invaded China. Not only that, they would use the, um, they put up a uh, biochemical lab in northeast China near Harbin to uh, continue or expand their war, uh, their war purpose, war invasion, their war crime. So back to Mr. Nibi, talking about the moment in history when the United States decided, be it a government action, be it a not a government action, why would the United States get involved? It was a, it was a government action. It, it was, was a clandestine, it was a clandestine operation to help China because at that time, at that time, uh, as you may remember, um, Chiang Kai-shek who was uh, at that time mm -hmm. the leader in China, I had very close relations with, uh, he, I think he was uh, American educated also, mm -hmm. and his wife, they all enjoyed very close relationships with China, mm -hmm. and it was basically in America's self-interest to contain, <coughs> mm -hmm. to contain uh, Japan, because we must realize that on the other side, was World War Two uh, had World War Two had started with Hitler. Mm -hmm. You see, there was a secret agreement between Nazi Germany and Japan mm -hmm. to control the world. The Big Apple to conquer for Japan was China, mm -hmm. and the Big Apple to be con uh, conquered by Germany was Russia. Mm -hmm. Japan mm -hmm. failed to conquer China because they never conquered China completely. Mm -hmm. And did, yeah. so did Germany mm. fail to conquer Russia, mm -hmm. and it resulted in that both Japan and Germany were eventually defeated in mm. World War II. Mm. That was 1945. They 1945, yes. Unconditionally. Right. And they signed the, the, the surrender. Both. Right. Both Germany mm. and Japan. Mm. Germany earlier, Germany in May 1945, mm. unconditionally surrendered and Japan in August 1945 unconditionally surrendered. How did you write, though, your creator, you're the creator of the whole thing. That's a big film. Oh, by the way, I saw that film twice. Uh, first time I was invited to their studio to uh, premiere to me, my eye only for that. And second time I was given a DVD I watched in my own home. It is, was very vividly depicted, and it was very vividly recorded. And you know what? There's a saying, seeing is believing. When a black white thing shows you exactly what happened, you, got, you better believe. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, now, in your eye as a creator, to what extent the action of, uh, of a dispatching flying tiger helped China? winning the victory. It helped a lot mm -hmm. uh, because you, it helped a lot, yes. Uh, but we have to go a little bit back. Mm -hmm. You see, when uh, Japan was invading China, mm -hmm. it basically cut off all the uh, sea ports of China first. Mm -hmm. So the only way for the West, which was at that time, of course, sympathetic to China, mm -hmm. to supply China with uh, supplies military supplies was through Burma, now called Myanmar. Myanmar, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
and there was a railroad from Rangoon to Ledo in China, in, mm -hmm. in, um, in Burma, and from there, there was a horse trail going to Yunnan. To Kumyang? Kum, to, yeah, to Yunnan, because uh -huh. Kumyang is further down. It I actually uh -huh. went to Manchi and uh, Wanding, uh, the Burmese border. Mm -hmm. But there was a horse trail. But they, for, to transport the goods on horses was very mm -hmm. tedious. So they, a road was needed for trucks. So international road uh, construction engineers ev evaluated the situation and said um, it will take about six to eight years with top machinery mm. to do this road to the, uh, unpenetrable jungle yeah. and mountainous. And um, even these days, the Google uh, the Google map shows the zigzagging yes. road yes. that goes up the mountain. Right, it was that is the very road. Right, right? yes, and. Mm -hmm. So the Chinese, and that is something you see which is remarkable, the Chinese did this with their bare hands. Mm -hmm. And I have footage where you can see children, mothers with their babies yeah, on her back, yeah. um, 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 breaking yeah. the stones and with the hammers. Yes, About yes. between 200 and 300,000 farmers, barefoot, with a bowl of rice a day, built that road not in six or eight years, but in less than one year. And mm -hmm. after one year, the mm -hmm. trucks were coming. Then, as you may remember, Japan extended its, uh, uh, its reach mm -hmm. and occupied Singapore, Malaysia, mm -hmm. Thailand, mm -hmm. and eventually Burma, and cut off that supply. Mm -hmm. Now, the... Uh, China still needed supplies, mm -hmm. and the Western nations, Britain and England, were still supportive to do so. Mm -hmm. For the very reason, because, you know, these Brit territories like Singapore and so on, they were British territories. So they were, and India, they were encroaching, they were fearing. So it was self-interest mm -hmm. of the Western nations mm -hmm. to support. It was not humanitarian exactly, idea. Exactly uh, the was case, because when you see the land uh, route of transportation yeah. was blocked. Right. The only thing left was there. So it was pure, you know, it was not uh, mm. humanitarian or it was pure self-interest. Let's mm. not forget that. By the West to mm. supply China. So now the land road for was the cut of what? off. For purpose of making money? What? No. Mm. For uh, protection because Japan was encroaching know, yeah, on course, British, yeah. British mm. uh, territory mm -hmm. and Britain as a mm -hmm. associated na uh, for centuries has mm -hmm. been associated with America, so they inter they got America involved in this. Mm -hmm. So now, when the land road was cut off, there was still from India mm -hmm. the way across the Himalayas to fly in to fly supplies. In. Yes, uh -huh. okay, but there were no airfields. So the same peasants, ah, yeah. there were no airfields mm -hmm. in the range, uh -huh. close. There mm -hmm. was an airfield in Kuming, but mm -hmm. Kuming is f far too away. Too far, too far away to the north. So the same, not the same, but also Chinese the Chinese pas farmers, peasants, yeah, peasants, farmers, mm -hmm. without shoes, barefoot, mm -hmm. for their motherland, built airports ranging down from Lijiang and even further north, to uh, uh, to near Dali, Yuan Yu, etc., mm -hmm. down to Manchi uh, and to Wanjin, and then eventually to Kuming, mm -hmm. and then also in Guilin, eventually also in Guilin. Ah. And then the flying tigers were formed. They can be provided with a landing. Right, uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. and, the, 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 and the remarkable thing is that again, Chinese mm. peasants for the motherland, for a bowl of rice, mm. no money, no financial interest, only patriots built these airports, so mm. airfields, so that uh, the flights uh, could a land. Cluster, cluster of yes, small one airports. one after the other, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that, uh, until uh, that was went on, uh -huh. the supply went on until Japan was foolish enough to attack 
Pearl Harbor mm -hmm. and get America involved, which actually did not want to get involved mm -hmm. in the war, mm -hmm. neither uh, on the west side with Hitler nor mm -hmm. on the east with Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful uh, to know that happened in history. And uh, I'm not saying the, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, in particular that the Chinese are more wonderful people. I'm saying when a, when a nation is in grief, right, they, have the, they can do the most output, right? So better, better, better remember that, that uh, when the Americans decided to move forward to help China, and the Chinese didn't respond with their appreciation, with their own consideration, with their own life, put their utmost in building the clusters of uh, oh airport. Oh yeah, here. I mean, you know, don't forget, mm -hmm. uh, these people were poor people. Yeah. Very poor people, farmers, mm -hmm. and it's, I have all and this like you documented. Said, no machinery provided. There was no, no, there was no machinery. They had these big uh, cement rollers uh -huh. to, to pull them, and they were, 50 or so pulling these huge rollers, which you still can see, mm -hmm. the airports are still there. Yeah, right, right, right. And uh, mm -hmm. it's a very, what I thought was so touching, because mm -hmm. over the last 70 years, everybody has talked about the Okay, health. we'll uh, probably uh, wrap it up for a segment, and we will come back for uh, another episode to go deeper find out that nowadays uh, the airport conditions and so that probably should give us some kind of a awakening signals uh, that the friendship is still there. Okay, stay with us. Hello, my dear folks, welcome back to the wonderful show. It's a discussion uh, with my good friend, Chris Nibby, uh, producer, uh, filmmaker, oh, okay, filmmakers, everything. And uh, well, to be precise, you are a director. You, you write your own script and uh, the screenwriter uh, for a wonderful eight, a series of 18 episodes. Mysterious China, yeah, Mysterious that's the series, yeah. And in the Mysterious China, among the 15 uh, episodes, there are five are war-related. During the war time, there are two depicts the uh, Chinese efforts and the American efforts. Uh, number one, they went in hand in hand to fight against the Japanese. Number two, their friendship was built of, on, a, on a very solid foundation. When I say a solid, that is found, uh, a foundation that is solid. I mean a foundation that is a life and a blood. Right. So, uh, thanks to uh, my great appreciation goes to Chris Nibby for having created this by going into archive like a bookworm for month after month, if not year after year, to have those things dug out. So, back to the airports. It's important to mention, you see, that uh, the Flying Tigers have always been celebrated as big heroes and so on in America. Mm. In all these films, I have addressed the Chinese contributions, mm -hmm. which actually have not been that well publicized, because you see, after World War II, immediately after World War II, the Cold War started, mm. and China, as a communist country, was cut off entirely and everything was negative and nobody talked about these contributions of the Chinese common people, mm -hmm. not some rich people, not some educated people, mm -hmm. very simple people. I was happy to or still able to interview some of them who were in their 90s mm -hmm. and they told us about the hardships they had and I think and I focused on the common Chinese people who made that happen. And the airports, or the, they are not airports, the airfields have now, are still there. Mm. They have different uses. In uh, Lijiang, they use it as an equestrian 
uh, center for horses and racing. Mm. And uh, Yunnan Yi, they have uh, most of it uh, is um, uh, agriculture. Mm -hmm. And others are still there, overgrown, mm. but the history is there. And each of them has its own little museum with mm. uh, museum or remembrance place. I remember seeing one scene that you shot on the film which is nowadays though, mm -hmm. that used to be the very airport at the old time. Yes. Uh, I saw the those parking spaces, how do you call it, the perch? Uh, yes, uh, do you mean the landing strip? Or? No, 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 not the landing strip, it is kinda, kind of a little one, one by one, like the parking space. With for airplanes? To, for, for airplanes to stay. But there were no airplanes there. There is no, there is empty. Yeah, empty that there. you see what a they dumped, a dumped, uh, abandoned the place. Yes, they had. You see, what they did is they made a wall, mm -hmm. for earth wall, mm -hmm. and to camouflage the planes. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what that. That was. is the uh, camouflage, camouflage uh, parking spot or for spot the or for, parking for spot. the planes. Yes, that yes. is left empty. Is abandoned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The lots of weeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. So, the, the, is that a, the way to to commemorate the? Uh, no, it just uh, happened so because you know inside mm -hmm. now is a field, vegetable field. Ah, but the the I wall see. is still there because why mm -hmm. take it away? You know, mm -hmm. wouldn't wouldn't serve any purpose. I see, I see. And mm -hmm. it has trees on it now, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. It's very, um, it's actually very touching because don't forget this is the extreme west of China. Yes, yes, And yes, yes. Uh, when you go back and you think about what happened there uh, and how, the, how China was able to mobilize its people to do all mm -hmm. this, it's, it's really remarkable, uh, the effort. And, you know, this is all, there is a lot of footage available on this because the Americans, so it's not talk. It's actual footage which shows you the, yeah. the children hammering yeah, why, the stones, why, and that's, that's why I say different. I was convinced. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not somebody's talking only. No, 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 no. I have a few no, interviews, no, no, no. but the main thing is everything, mm -hmm. every claim, mm -hmm. and every statement is supported by actual you footage. You made a very uh, specific, important point, <clears throat> which will probably be described in uh, one of the Chinese proverbs that says that. Uh, the soldiers you mourn would definitely win if they lost a commander or whatever, right? The soldiers are you mourning, heavy mourning, right? So they must win because that's their down-to-earth fight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Other, uh, you fight or you die. Right. Like that, get desperate. Right. 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 And that was a moment when China was invaded, and when Chinese people were so desperate, they put everything humanly can, or humanly even impossible, to have uh, the airport build up, and first to have the the road, the on the land road. Yeah, the build entire up, infrastructure. And then the yes. air mm -hmm. structure build yeah. up, right? But you know, it's also very interesting what people also don't know, mm -hmm. because it's uh, it, it, the problem is right now. The West people don't know enough China, mm -hmm. therefore they don't understand China and they don't appreciate China. For example, nobody in the West talks about the fact that in the last 40 years, the government of China has lifted mm -hmm. 700 people out of poverty. This is, <laughs> this is something unbelievable. Mm -hmm. and while, for exa example, in America, you'll find more homeless every day, in China, they lifted over 700 million people out of poverty. So people don't talk about this, mm -hmm. and this has all been sort of forgotten. For example, just to talk about something, when uh, the Japanese invaded Shanghai and then Nanjing, mm -hmm. then ch China started to move. And about 30 million people, 30 million people mm -hmm. fled and took everything with them, dismantled all the factories mm -hmm. and everything, and moved all In Shanghai and Nanjing, they and moved yeah, Westbound. And Bell. moved everything to Yunnan, because Yunnan mm -hmm. was never really conquered mm -hmm. and was relatively safe. And you may remember mm 
your grandfather may have had these very round glasses. Oh yeah, okay, very, very thick. And that's another ingenious thing uh -huh. the Chinese okay. did. Uh -huh. You know, these were bottoms of Coca-Cola bottles ah. because the <laughs> flying tigers okay. were very well equipped by American uh -huh. standards and they, they got Coca-Cola Coca uh -huh. and they threw the bottles mm -hmm. away. And at that time, the Coca-Cola bottles were much, much uh, 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 more heavy. Mm -hmm. So what the, the Chinese bottle, did, yes. they mm -hmm. used them, took the bottom mm -hmm. and uh, and created lenses, mm. you know, they uh, uh, polished them and yeah, created yeah, yeah. lenses uh -huh. for glasses, mm. and that's why in that time After you all see, the angles, right? yeah, yeah, you see the old, uh, the old yeah, yeah in China, you see all of these mm -hmm. uh, glasses. Oh, these days, if you put up a pair of that kind of glasses, uh, Coca-Cola bottle, it is history. I'm, they were worth a lot of money. Uh, yeah, you can see them in museum. There's uh -huh. a very nice, very nice, uh -huh. especially nice uh, appointed and curated museum mm -hmm. in Tengchong. Tengchong was the what only you were? Tengchong. Tengchong. How Tengchong. do you spell? Tang, Tang Shong, uh, the way I say it. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry. It's always when I say something in okay, China right. outside of Ayamaya, yeah, nobody say, understands. Say, Ayamaya. But okay. Tang Shong mm -hmm. was the battle, the only real battle in Yunnan. It was mm -hmm. a very fierce mm -hmm. battle, mm -hmm. and the Japanese took bitter re revenge mm -hmm. for losing. Mm -hmm. It was also a bridge, uh, a bridge across uh, a river, mm -hmm. um, and that was a big battle in Tang Chong. And there's a museum mm. there, mm. and there is also a huge graveyard, which mm. every stone has, mm. the, uh, has about a cup of ashes mm. from soldiers, unknown soldiers, because they burned them. Mm. And it's a wonderful appointed museum uh, by a private citizen of China who collected for the last, uh, seven, he is a, in his 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. collected for 40 years, all these things. It's just unbelievable, the museum, and it gives you a very good insight mm -hmm. on what happened there. All right, okay. Uh, I believe that uh, during the war time, the Chinese paid a lot. Not only more than 200,000, just to say, some says, uh, another six numbers, about 300,000 people were killed. I think it was more. Uh, well, there are different statistics, all right? I mean, I'm China at that time had about 450 million mm, people, mm, was the largest at, at nation that time. at that time at also. That time, yeah. mm -hmm. Interesting that how they have multiplied, mm -hmm. even though with the one yeah, child another, policy, another, now it's almost 1.4. Another, another subject, another day. Yeah. But uh, uh, in the meantime, the war grave, uh, the uh, grave of uh, having lost their loved ones gave them the greatest efforts that they did something even humanly impossible. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, 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 the greatest part is that recorded, turned into a film for the nowadays audience's eye by this great man, great friend of mine. Thank that's you, yes. Actually, that's how no, much I owe you. Actually, nobody else has done that, yeah. much to my surprise. That's, that's how much I owe you. Yeah. Right? As uh, one thing, you know, what the Chinese did, what the uh, Americans did in world time is one thing, but you put it into a visual effect, into documentary for the public eye, for nowadays, that is the other. So that is the part I I feel that I'm in debt. Yeah, so I felt you, you know that this so was very important because, as I said, after mm -hmm. after World War II, the Cold War uh, created uh, uh, China was a non-entity, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, what happened there? You know, people always when they say World War II, all they think about is Europe mm -hmm. and Pearl Harbor, yeah. and that's it. All they right. have no mm -hmm. idea mm -hmm. of what happened in China. And, uh, and, 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 and they have no real idea what mm. happened with Japanese invasion and why and, and how. And for me, it was interesting being a German. It was very uh -huh. interesting uh -huh. to, to find in my research that there had been an agreement very between good. Japan mm. and Germany mm. to conquer the world mm. and so to that share. So they, they will chop the pie. That's it. And they, they, they failed. The pie. All right. So 
and let the hell go to hell, right? right. So we wrap it up for a segment, and when we come back, we'll continue finding more from this wonderful friend of mine, Mr. Chris Nibby. So stay with us. Hello, my dear folks. Welcome back to the show, my dear audience. Yes, you all love films, but films, you know, are different groups, belong to different groups. One that can entertain you, one group that awakes you. Or educates you. Okay, educates you. Uh, I'm uh, awakened by these, this group of film. I'm educated with the educator. I'm with the educator, the maker of that film, Mr. Chris Nibby. He is the director, screenwriter, a producer, uh, everything of those wonderful Mysterious China that has 18 episodes of uh, a well published. Among five, I mean, among the 18, there were five, and among the five, there are two war related, specifically with the one of uh, uh, Burma Road, the Flying Tiger. Now I know how to do it. Because Burma Road first. Burma Road came first. Came Burma the, Road the first. The Flying Tigers and were Burma a result. Burma Road was blocked. Yes. The airway let out. Right. There goes right. Flying Tiger. Mm -hmm. So Burma Road, Flying Tiger, uh, created by mm, Mr. Nibby. And that one full film I saw twice. One with the premiere that you specifically treat my eyes in your studio. And one with the CU with the DVD. So thank you very much for doing that. Uh, we mentioned that in China, especially young people, do not even know that. Mm, right? No, I mean uh, the West doesn't know for West sure. Doesn't know. And the Chinese people also older people like older my do, age yes, probably but the will young know. people have different interests. Even my age, I heard from my grandpa, something like that. Right. 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 So talking about my son, of course, my son is not in China. They are here. So they, they deserve not to know because nobody tells them. Right. It is our shame that we didn't do our part. Right. It is your glory. You did your part. You put it into a film. That's why I respect you. Yeah, right. you see, it's very important because... Normally I hate you, but now I love you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Very <laughs> All right. But you know, it's very important mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. f for the understanding, there is no doubt about it mm -hmm. that the 21st century is the century of Asia under the leadership of China. Mm -hmm. Whether the West likes it or not likes it, that is a fact. So, but there is not enough knowledge in the West about China. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if you don't understand history, then you cannot appreciate the future or present. Absolutely. And therefore, you it's take everything for granted. Yes, and therefore, it's very important to mm -hmm. show that there have been interesting cooperations and relations with China, mm -hmm. and that China, you see, which is another thing which the West really doesn't appreciate, mm -hmm. China is the only civilization mm -hmm. which basically is still intact within its original borders mm -hmm. and confines. Mm. They didn't set food on any other land. And for mm. over 2,000 years. Exactly like the poem that yeah. uh, Emma Lazarus wrote, that uh, unlike the, uh, uh, the ancient uh, fame uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, conquering limbs uh, astride from land to land. Right. No, so China never did that. Mm. No, and mm. also, you see, uh, we have to realize what I just said, that this is a century of Asia mm. and we need to cooperate. There is no time mm. or no need mm. for confrontation. And Chinese, the Chinese nature and the Chinese wonderful philosophers, Lao Tzu, mm. Confucius, have mm. never been uh, 
controversial or yes, aggressive? Yeah, sure, sure. Stop right there. I want to analyze from that point on to create a concept that we are obligated. We, you people, your age, my age, we're, we belong the same age, anyway. Uh, we are obligated to let the youngsters know. Yes. To let yes. youngsters know, yes. right? Yes. So it is our job. It is our shame if we didn't do it. Right? Yeah, we and you see, China know. is an, another thing which the West doesn't know and or the same realize. Th uh, one second. And the same thing that even China has the blank of youngsters, uh, among youngsters. Correct. How about Japan? Uh, Nobody will, okay, in China, we have you and me keep on talking, trying to make it, make it visible, but in, in Japan, there is nobody doing that. And I then doubt that. Their I'm young people even tend to be forgetting that, that part. That is true. More. That, is, that, is, that may be true. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have not uh, studied the situation in Japan, mm -hmm. but looking at Chinso Abe, you get the creation. Uh, you get the impression mm -hmm. that that everything has never been happening. Mm, yeah, you're right. You're right. And but I don't like that guy, and uh, he just. I think they, us. even the Japanese don't mm -hmm. like him. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of uh, Japanese who don't like mm -hmm. him and don't like his uh, politics, etc. But important thing is to know that China is the only civilization left. Never invaded anybody. Never invaded anybody. Mm -hmm is still within the confines mm -hmm. of its original mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. and for over 2,000 years mm -hmm. has had one consecutive national government after the other. There were dynasties, mm -hmm. there was a republic, and then there was the socialist China mm -hmm. now. So mm -hmm. this is very important to know because you see Italy today is an unimportant nation once the Roman Empire controlled the world. It went down the drain. 150 years ago, Britain controlled basically the world, mm -hmm. not America. Britain Mon monopolizing. Monopolized, exploiting mm -hmm. it exploiting broadly. It. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. Britain is mm -hmm. A nothing, a poodle their of America. Their is uh, about a hundred times it, more yeah. than their own land. Yeah. So now today Britain is nothing. It's a mm. poodle of America mm. and it's nothing. So it has also gone by the wayside. This mm. is very important mm. to understand mm. for the West mm. that China is an entity which has been there and will be there. Uh, well, I well, I don't go against you. I have no problem understanding. I don't want to say the future world belongs to whom. I, I didn't say, say that. No, no, I know, but uh, I want to say that if we want to sustain with the friendship between the Chinese people and the United States people, that's it. We don't even care who be number one. No, we, that's we it. But you see, we have to. But you have to appreciate that in Asia. That's Asian territory. America is America. Europe is Europe. Mm -hmm. We cannot, okay. the times where I mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. and mingle in your house mm -hmm. are over because we are a global village. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we depend on each other uh -huh. and we must now, respect and understand our diversity. Now we're building a wall to protect our own house. We want our neighbor pay for the wall. Yeah, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Now, this is very sad <laughs> and absolutely ridiculous uh -huh. and very sad. But it's, a, but, it's a, uh, but it's reality. I know, but it's very sad. Mm -hmm. And you see, it will not work. It will not work. Walls don't work. The ghetto walls in Warsaw, the mm -hmm. wall in Berlin, Berlin and the wall, wall in the Israel wall, against yes. the mm -hmm. uh, separating the Palestinians don't mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. It's inhuman. We, these times, these are all, it's mm. like going back in, in time to even think about it. Even, even in the biggest film, uh, Zhang Yimou just made the Great Wall. Yeah. The Great Wall itself was just a prep. Right. Nothing related with the Great Wall. No, it's just a no, that, just that's a, a film doesn't go, mm -hmm. and doesn't go at all. Just a sin. And it shows you mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. how little uh, filmmakers understand about making films which are crossovers. They thought, okay, we put Matt Damon oh, in there, no, 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 now no, this no, is no, going to no. be a hit. They're messing no. up. He's messing People up. are very, very yeah. smart. And mm -hmm. it's actually sad. 
uh -huh. that they use the name The Great Wall for this film, which is ridiculous. It's offensive. Offensive, mm -hmm. because a great wall, you can see it from space. It's mm -hmm. a man-made... Yeah, it's offensive. It's, it's, it's a and historic... And in the film, in the, film the, f the, the great wall did nothing. Did you see the film? The, yeah, of course. It's a shame, uh, isn't it's it? It's a shame. I mean, yes, it's ridiculous. Shame. I, I, I saw it with a great shame, because uh, number one, the, the title, Great Wall, Yeah. Well, that stands for Great Wall, right? Stands so, like for Jack the greatness Chow, of Like China. Jack Chow stands for Jack Chow, the same right, thing. Right, right, right. Yet, the Great Wall as a wall itself did not function, does not function anything no. in protecting its own people. It's ridiculous. Right? The film and is then ridiculous. And you see yeah. that the, the, those kind of a creature, Tao Te, what they call. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> no. And very sad because, uh, as I said, it does not create what uh, the uh -huh. world needs, understanding. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Jiang Yimou used to be a wonderful filmmaker. The first films, the I artistic agree, film, agree, one yeah, of them. I agree, Ever I agree. since he started to, let's call mm -hmm. it, go Hollywood, mm -hmm. he went to it in a wrong way. You remember that one film he made with the, with the girls in oh, the yeah, yeah, of the rest? The, uh, the Tang, Tang Dynasty, yeah. with the boobs to push up. Mm. Total bullshit. Yeah. Then followed up with Nanjing, with the Nanjing mm. film, the Nanjing and where he took the, Christian uh, Bale. About the 13 girls. Offensive. Uh, Offensive. Offensive. Yes. Because mm. Nanjing is a tragedy. You mm. cannot uh, uh, present it this way. Mm. The man is, uh, uh, you know, okay. washed out. Okay, forget That's him, forget him, yeah. forget him. That could be another day, another time, another, sh another show. And let's focus on the Chinese American friendship. Yes. I really wish to use that as a uh, seed that I once again plant somewhere, somehow, to let it grow. Even I I the more I significance, it would make more significance if we would let the Western people on the Western side understand that we were once hand in hand. All right, there is no, no danger, no risk, because China has not invaded uh, any right. other countries. Right. And then if we are brothers and let your brother be strong, that's it. We don't care who is number one, who is number two, as long as we are hand in hand. So right. that's it. And the problem is that if you are not approaching China, Russian would, right? Right. So end of the day, it's still the same thing. Right. What is the best structure? That the three of us each do their own business, that's it. Because you see, in the end, mm -hmm. in the end, China and Russia, who have, who are couple oh, cooperating. Oh, they are getting close now. And they have a landmass. They mm -hmm. can go right to Germany. Yes, they can yes, go to yes, the yes, 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 America. Right. Is closed off. Um, uh, that's very nice mm -hmm. because it has the protective oceans on both sides. But in 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 the future, this geographically and geopolitically. China is in a much better position. Much better position than the United States. Absolutely. I would say United States rather make approach, join the party, shake hands. That's, that's it. Let's dance, if not tangle. That's it. Something like yes. that. And you yeah. know, Russia is has huge unexploited uh, mineral and natural Honestly, if resources. I may choose, yeah. I may choose. I choose the United States. I don't choose Russia. I don't trust oh, them. I don't think so. I, I am, I, I'm, for example, convinced, and mm -hmm. uh, it is starting to start to be like this, that the Germans realize their future is Russia. Mm. But okay. right now, you see, the Germans mm. are the poodle of America. We have mm. still about uh, between a 50 and 100,000 soldiers stationed in mm -hmm. Germany, mm -hmm. supposedly to protect us, I don't know from whom. Um, because Russia is not going to do nothing. Mm -hmm. But our future is like China, the belt, a belt and Road thing, which will develop that total area of Central Asia. To circle like around Europe. Russia, right, to go to Western Europe. Is it what you're saying? No. China is, and together with Russia, they're developing the entire Central Asian mm -hmm. area, plus Russia itself, which also needs development, it's a huge country with not so many people. So, mm. this is a very good strategy. And uh, the recent visit of President Xi in Davos, 
where he very cleverly went into this momentary oh, vacuum, yeah, 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 vacuum yeah, 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 with yeah. Obama going yeah, out, yeah, yeah, Trump yeah, yeah. coming in. There was a vacuum there. That was the moment before the inauguration of Trump. A perfect moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you see, in mm. Europe now, the, 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 those people who are in charge, mm. those people who are moving their countries ahead, mm. are very much realize where the new economic leadership and the new economic frontier is. <laughs> it's right. not going to okay. be. It's All a right, very good, dear very smart move. Thank you very much for that uh, prediction. And I have no, no problem with that. And, but I wish the, uh, the other way. Otherwise, I will wish that U.S. and China keep on I wish too, locked. because yeah. I wish this mm -hmm. for the whole world. Because yeah. you see, I'm a total pacifist. You are. War is awful, mm -hmm. and war is stupid. Yeah. But the problem is mm -hmm. America is ruled by the military-industrial complex. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, that's why America yeah. needs sure. war sure. to prosper. All uh, right. OK, my dear friends, my dear audiences, uh, let's wrap up here for today. And my appreciation goes to you. Thank you for watching. And to my dear friend, Mr. Nibby, I highly appreciate and with respect, lots of respect for what you have done. And uh, I would say, uh, let's find another time when we can put together uh, another show for, we, for what we just kicked out. OK. All right. Good. Thank you, Lao Ponyo. Thank you. 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 Thank you.